luckily though, Mufufunyan didn't get hurt. The sticks got away with the warthog, and all's well that ends well, I suppose. That's it. Ended up passing away. Went to the end of his life because we had Safari and Mufufunyan. Safari is Karula's mother, who was a old leopardess when she died and the two of them were legends of this area and both died quite quickly after one another um, safari unfortunately just ended up becoming sort of skin and bone and she just wasted away she just became an old female so she lived a long full life and it was incredible to watch her because she, I, don't know, I think she was about it must have been about 14 15 i'm sure a lot of you will be able to correct me on this but i think she was about 14 15 when she lost her eye so her right eye was damaged and it was all swollen and full of blood so she couldn't see out of her right eye but yet she still managed to go until she was 19 which is absolutely incredible now if you read books and what we often tell you is that most leopards in this area females will only live to about um, 15 16 years old so for a leopard to go to 19 with only one eye is absolutely amazing so she was really an incredible individual and one that I'll never forget. She was a leopard that when we were always desperate for a leopard and we were struggling to find a leopard, she would pop out in the most random of places and save you from the embarrassment of not finding a leopard for your guests. So she was really a special cat and I have some very fond memories of her. And in fact, actually, I was in the sighting on one of the last ranges that actually got to see her, which is quite sad. Um, so I've got one of the last photographs of her. There was no no other sightings after that day that we had her. And nobody ever found her carcass or anything like that. I think hyenas unfortunately ended up getting into it. Right, enough of those morbid topics and animals passing away. 